All right, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, to what you want? All right, I'm back out here once again on these sideways and hedges in the cheap place of concourse as commanded. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to turn and face the east and give all the praise, honor, and the glory. I say Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, and Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Hey, and the Wadi Ha Bashim Yahweh Shah, Kayaha Rakakadash. That is the Holy Spirit which moves me, compels me to come out here to prophesy of the salvation which is coming to my nation, the nation of Israel. This nation of Israel consists primarily of the so-called black and indigenous peoples here in the Western Hemisphere. Now we understand according to prophecy, our people are dispersed throughout the four winds of heaven, the four corners of the earth. Yet for the most part, we're being categorized as black Americans, as West Indians, as Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Salvadorans, Guatemalans, those of us of quote unquote black or indigenous descent. And our salvation coincides with the destruction of America, which America is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, is also known as Nineveh, Tyrus, Assyria, and above all, Babylon the Great, or the daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Yeah, which uh, which Babylon is going to be destroyed by intercontinental Dawada. Babylon is going to be destroyed by intercontinental ballistic and hypersonic missiles, which is coming from Russia, Iran, China, North Korea, and all those ultimately that have nuclear capability. And I want to speak about how you got even even other nations that are within Babylon, primarily the Ishmaelites, they're in Babylon shedding death to America. Over there in Dearborn, Michigan, the brother Yehawada, he had just sent out a video on it. Uh, one of the uh, the guys that goes into the economy, he was touching on it. And I saw it on Twitter as well. And it was actually it was actually trending on uh, on Twitter uh, yesterday. Uh, X, previously known as Twitter, it was it was uh, trending yesterday. Death to America. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is getting ready to move this place. The Heavenly Father is getting ready to move on this place. And not just America, you got other parts of the world that these other nations are plotting on. The, the, the quote unquote collective West, to the point where a soccer game was about to be was about to be canceled because of a, an alleged ISIS threat. And which we know that ISIS, that's controlled by Esau slash Edom uh, here in Babylon, specifically the CIA. Yet that sentiment of uh, death to the so-called white man, death to America, death to the UK, it's out there. So the heavenly father, he's gonna bring more and more terrors upon these people in these last days. So let me go ahead and start there. And as always, I pray that the lesson is edifying, exhorting, and comfortable. All right, so this is the book of Job, chapter 18. It's the book of Job, chapter 18, verse 11. And it reads, Terror shall make him afraid on every side. You know, let me start at verse 7. The steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. That's right. So it says, for he is cast into a net by his own feet. That's right. So this man is being cast into a net by his own feet. For he is cast into a net by his own feet. And he walketh upon a snare. That's right. So everything right now is a snare unto Esau slash Edom. Reading on, the jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. Right? Who are the robbers? All these other nations. Because now they're in the spirit of spoiling you. Let me let me grab this in the book of Isaiah, the thirty third chapter, from the top. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously. They shall deal treacherously with thee. That's right. So now we're in the time of all these nations dealing treacherously with you. Let me grab this in the book of Habakkuk. All these nations are in the spirit of getting their get back. And everybody's anticipating that because Ramadan is about to come to a close, that the Iranians are actually going, they're actually going to go ahead and strike Israel and the U.S. It was the U.S. They putting up their hands like, hey, look, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah, but the Iranians, they're not buying that. Oh, and they said that they could, if they wanted to, go ahead and close the Strait of Hormuz. But you know what that's going to do to oil prices, man? You know how that's going to affect the world? Man, that, hey, man, that's going to, if they actually do that, man, it's going to be, it's going to be catastrophic. Especially with this being an election year. Man, gas will hit $10 a barrel, uh, I'm sorry, $10 a gallon, $15 a gallon just as people were predicting a few years ago. Remember, people were anticipating at the gas station that it was gonna to get to um, to $10, $11. It didn't hit. It got to like seven, close to eight. Hey, but if they actually close that straight up our moves, man, it, it, it's a wrap, man. 
And they said it's in their power to do so. I right, see so the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 7. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee? And thou shalt be for booties unto them. Right, thou shalt be for booties, thou shalt be for spoil unto them. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. That's right, and that's what these other nations are in the spirit of. Spoiling you damn devils, spoiling you Edomites. Because I have spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that, yet yeah, woe to him that coveteth an evil, evil covetous, covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Right, and that's what Esau does. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul. That's right, because this man has governed the earth really to his own ruin. Let me go ahead and grab that. Keep this in Job. Let me grab that in the book of Ecclesiastes. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8. Get Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 9. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. That's right, and that's what Esau's been doing. He's been governing the whole world in wickedness to his own hurt. Going back to Habakkuk. Go ahead and drop this. Going back to Habakkuk. Make sure I got everything. Yep. 2 verse 10. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul. That's right, the Heavenly Father really has been setting you up for failure. Reading on, for the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber, timber shall answer. That's right. So the crumbling infrastructure, and that's one of the testimonials against your kingdom. All these train derailments, bridge, bridge failings, these are all tes testimonies against your kingdom, which you have established in unrighteousness and wickedness. Reading on, woe to him that built up a town with blood, and establish a, ta a city by iniquity. That's right. So woe we'll unto you. And that's why all these nations are calling for the death of America. Even within America. Because before people would do that in Iran, they would do that in Iraq. You know, they would be they would be distant. But they saw bold in 2024. They're in America talking about death to America. Hey, which we've been saying that, us the Israelites, talking about the Bob the Ball, which translates to destruction upon Babylon. But now you got these other nations here calling this place out. Why? Because the Heavenly Father got a got the spirit against Esau slash Edom and, and against Babylon, which is governed by Esau slash Edom. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab this. I can drop this in Habakkuk and I'll go to Ezekiel. All right, and it's all because of the spirit of Yahweh al Shah, which is, which is being pushed out by the prophets. All right, it starts with the prophets and we see that it's extended throughout the whole globe. That that spirit of that spirit of prophesying against of, against America, prophesying against the so-called white man, is out. I right, see so this book of Ezekiel 35 from the top. Moreover, the word of Adonai Yahweh came unto me, saying, "Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it." That's right. So we've been starting with our elders, and their elders have been prophesying against Mount Seir for decades. And now we see that even the other nations, they're calling this place out. All right, they're speaking about how this place is in a decline. How the Heavenly Father needs to uh, do away with this place. Let me read that again. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. That's right, so that's what we're set up to do. Prophesy against Mount Seir. Which Mount Seir is the ancient dwelling place of Esau slash Edom. So the modern Mount Seir will be a miracle. Because this is Esau's stronghold also known as Babylon the Great, or the daughter of Babylon. Let me go ahead and pull this up so I can get the precepts that your brother's got. And say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh the power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. That's right. So when these other nations say death to America, are they lying? No. Because ultimately the heavenly father is going to bring it into this place. He's going to make this place most desolate and I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh that's right so you're going to know that the heavenly father is the one that did it 
because Esau says in his heart that there is no God. He denies the existence of a higher power. All right, he exalts himself. He exalts himself as a God. But see, with these various judgments, the Heavenly Father is going to let you know that he's the one that ruled up in the kingdom of men. Or that he's the one that's running the show. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get these precepts. Let me go through these. This is the book of... Isaiah 47 and 13. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. That's right, weary, worn out in the multitude of thy counsel. Because hey, Esau is plotting continuously as to how he can prolong his kingdom. And just like, just like the dream came unto the king of Babylon, and Daniel gave the interpretation. Hey man, time's up. That's pretty much what Daniel told him. Hey, the time is up. And that's the same thing, that's the same thing that we said. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the multi prognosticators stand up and save thee and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. That's right. If they can, but they can't, they can't save you from these things that are, are to come upon the earth. Or right, just like the Magi's in ancient Egypt, in ancient Babylon, they couldn't they couldn't prolong the kingdom, they couldn't preserve the kingdom. It's the same thing here in Babylon the Great, in America. Your, your kingdom can no longer be prolonged. Jeremiah 51 and 7, right? And oil increases, so does everything. Exactly. Because now the cost of transportation is going to go up. So your food is going to be more expensive. Uh, other goods are going to be more expensive. The clothes. Literally everything is going to be more expensive. Because America, for the most part, imports things. See, what America exports are services. See, America is a service economy. There's not very much that's manufactured here. The main things that are the main things that are manufactured here are guns, and this is also a, a, a oil a oil uh, manufacturing hub, especially over there in Texas. Hey, we see Joe Biden already hit a lot of those companies with sanctions, so they're limited in the amount of oil that they can export. And even if, and, and even if they did ease those sanctions. America consumes so much oil, they still have to what? They still have to purchase from other nations, despite the fact that this is an oil-producing nation. And, and who they've been getting it from? They've been getting it from Russia. They've been trying to uh, get back into good graces with the Saudis, trying to uh, trying to talk to them so that they can ease so that they can ease the uh, the restrictions on oil, so that they don't cut the oil as much. Because they periodically OPEC they come up. You know they come up with the uh, the common the common agreement to go ahead and cut production, so then they can get more they can get more money. That's that's basic economics, supply and demand. Because remember, about two years ago, Biden went over there and everybody was clowning kind of Biden. They had those memes with him going over there and kissing MBS's ass, and he had a uh, and he had like a a, a a gas tank in his hand. You know they photoshopped that, but that's really what he was over there for. And so now with the blocking of the Strait of Hormuz, man, that's going, man, that's going really, man, that's going really throw things into overdrive. Because then America's going to have to use up all the strategic reserves, and then when there's a lights out situation, the lights ain't going to come back on. There's an attack on the grid. America wouldn't be able to go ahead and tap into the uh, strategic reserves to go ahead and put the lights back on. See, that's how, hey, that's how the Heavenly Father is going to cause these different prophecies to come to pass of the darkness over the land darkness that may be felt because that's what happened in ancient egypt and we know from sort of second and 15 chapter he gonna bring plagues on egypt as before so we see how the heavenly father is setting everything up it's a domino effect like the brother said it don't it don't just it don't just affect one one sector of the economy it affects all sectors of the economy because that's where that's where the majority of the oil goes through it goes through that straight up our moves and then so so beautiful beautiful times so let me go back to the common world. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon, yeah, Babylon, inflation finna hit heavy soon. That's right. It's going it's to turn into hyperinflation as described in the book of Revelation 6 chapter. All right, so Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. That's right. That made all the earth drunken. The wine of the wrath of America's fornication. 
The nations have drunk out of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. That's right, these nations are crazy. And a crazy man, a madman, is liable to do anything. And that's why we see the escalation because America, they're not stopping. They're still trying to spoil the other nations. Wait. But see, now the nations, they're alerted and they're fighting back. Now they're attacking um, American military bases throughout the quote unquote Middle East, West Asia. That's been happening for a while now. They've been hitting, they've been hitting the Americans with Havana syndrome. Bombing the place so that these people, they're not necessarily back in the spirit world, but they're not able to function properly. They got, they, they got brain injuries. That happened, that happened in the aftermath of Soleimani getting uh, assassinated. The Iranians, they didn't kill anybody with those attacks, but essentially you're taken off the battlefield. See, if you're in a war, you don't necessarily have to kill somebody. You just got to get them up out of there. And that's what they did for countless American soldiers. And you have those three soldiers, the Judites from uh, Georgia, they gave up the ghosts. It was, a, it was a military base on the border of Syria and Jordan. And it got attacked. It, it got attacked by the different pro-Iranian quote-unquote militias that are throughout the region. And guess what? That's only going to increase. Right? The Heavenly Father is only going to bring more judgments upon America here domestically and around the globe. All right, so reading on, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed, right? And that's what we're in the midst of. We're in the midst of the collapse of the American empire. And that, and that includes the Bay Area, California, and the rest of this place. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed, right? Now, what's the balm? The stimulus packages, all right, the, the checks, all right, the Inflation Reduction Act, which that passed about a year and a half ago. That ain't reduced inflation. And, and inflation is still super high. And you wouldn't know unless you went outside of America. Because like I've said before, going to Europe, even though inflation is high there, you can actually still get something for a pound or for a euro. Why do you think all these dollar stores are closing down? Because you can't get nothing for a dollar. What, what, what realistically can you get for a dollar? You can't even get a pack of gum for a dollar. Let, let, let alone 50 cents. So nothing that America is doing is working. As a matter of fact, let me grab this and name them. And I'll jump right back. All right, so this is the book of Nahum, chapter 3, and I'll start at verse 16. Thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven. The canker worm spoileth and fleeth away. That's right, because the majority of the millionaires, billionaires, they're where? They're here in America. Now you got the Chinese, they're on the rise economically. You know, the Indians, the South Asia, they're on the rise. Hey, but for the most part, they're headquartered here in America. And even, and even those, those millionaires, those billionaires in other parts of the world, where do they really make their money at? They really make their money here in America. Because America's a big shopping mall. It tells that in the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. The merchants, they're gonna be, they're gonna be bemoaning and wailing when they see the destruction of this place because this is where you make your money. So, so thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven. The canker worm spoileth and flyeth away. The crowns are as the locusts, and thy captains as the great grasshoppers, which camp in the hedges in the cold day. But when the sun ariseth, they flee away, and their place is not known where they are. That's right, and that's what's happening. Now the sun is arising, now the truth is coming out, the light is coming out, and what's happening? You're fleeing away. Why, why you think now all of these different millionaires and billionaires the Jeff Bezos's, the Mark Zuckerberg's, why do you think they're selling off their stocks? What do they know that the American public doesn't know? They know that we're in the beginning of a great economic downturn. So they're trying to get out of Dodge, as the old saying goes. Jason Eric, haven't seen you before, shot a one. And let me go ahead and pull this up in the uh, in the NLT. Name whom the third chapter. Because yeah, it's talking about the ruin of Nineveh, which this place, it's modern-day Nineveh. America is known as Nineveh, which that's the that's the capital city of Assyria. Oh, and not for nothing, the solar eclipse, the, the line that it was on, it went through five cities that were known that that, that are uh that are named Nineveh. I saw something on TikTok concerning that. Because that's one of the cold words of cold words of America. And it's heavy, man. 
showing you, amen, showing you how great our power is. Then you know that a destruction is coming for this place. The Heavenly Father got it out for America, for Nineveh, for Syria, for Egypt, for Babylon, for Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, so Nahum 3, verse 16. Your merchants have multiplied until they outnumber the stars. But like a swarm of locusts, they strip the land and fly away. And that's what they do. They strip the land and they fly away. They exploit the people. And because this last four years has been the greatest transfer of wealth in human history, according to the statistics. The Bezoses, the Zuckerbergs, the Elon Musk, they done multiplied they, they, they riches. But what has happened to the American populace? You've, you've, you've delved further into poverty. Despite the fact that the, uh, the, the press secretary tell you that this, is, this society is on the up and up, that this economy is on the up, up and up, that Bidenomics is working. Why, why do you see all these people complaining on social media? How they can't buy a house, how everything is going up? Because this place is waxing worse and worse. Reading on, your guards and officials are also like swarming locusts that crowd together in the hedges on a cold day. But like locusts that fly away when the sun comes up, all of them will fly away and disappear. That's right, the Heavenly Father is going to chase them away. Your shepherds are asleep, O Assyrian king. Your princes lie dead in the dust, right, which represents confusion. Your people are scattered across the mountains with no one to gather them together, right? Look at the condition of the American populace. These people are gone. These people are messed up. These people are ready to faint. Reading on, there is no healing for your wound. Your injury is fatal, right? Fatality. <laughs> and your injury is fatal. All who hear of your destruction will clap their hands for joy. That's right. Because what are they doing right now? They're chanting death to America. Death to the so-called white man. So when this place ultimately gets nuked, they're going to be clapping it on. They're going to be clapping for joy. All who hear of your destruction will clap their hands for joy. Where can anyone be found who has not suffered from your continual cruelty? That's right. And that's why these other nations, they're in the spirit of, of, of chanting down Babylon. Because you can't pick a spot on the globe where the people have not suffered from your continual cruelty. So now on that note, let me go to Isaiah the 14 chapter. Now I'm going to read this in the NLT. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 5. For Adawan has crushed your wicked power and broken your evil rule, right? And that's the time that we're in, the Heavenly Father breaking the evil rule of Esau, Sad, Edom. You struck the people with endless blows of rage and held the nations in your angry grip with unrelenting tyranny. That's right, unrelenting tyranny. And that's how the other nations are looking at uh, the American empire as a tyrannical empire. But finally, the earth is, is, rest, is at rest and quiet. Now it can sing again. That's right. Now it can sing again once your ass goes down. So you got these other nations just as we're hastening to the destruction of this place. So are they. And in the spirit, they're really waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the power. They're in the spirit waiting on... The, the ascension of the nation of Israel, starting with the chief of, of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shah, the tribe of Judah, they're really in the spirit waiting for our ascension to the throne. Because that's when things are going to be righteous. That's when everything is going to be set back in proper order. So now, let me go back to the comment board. Right, the locusts are supposed to be out there today too. That's right. That's right, the cicadas. Yeah, they, they, they said that they're gonna be they're supposed to be unleashed any time now in the aftermath of this locust. I'm sorry, of this eclipse. Alright, so now going back up to Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country. Right, reverse immigration. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right, and that links up with Revelation the 18th chapter. 
All the wickedness of America has come before the throne of the Heavenly Father. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick. And I'll jump back. All right, so this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Heavenly Father have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. That's right, double destruction upon this place. Double the pleasure, double the fun. All right, for the Heavenly Father and the angels. And us prophesying against this place. Hey, double the shrugs to you. Hey, double the fun for us. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. That's right, lived deliciously. These people, they have an abundance of resources. Um, it's estimated that America consumes 25% of the world's resources. Despite the fact that it's only 5% of the population. That's that what? That's that deliciousness. That opulence that people are, are accustomed to uh, living in. So how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. That's right, torment and sorrow. And that's what these other nations are forecasting. The, the, the destruction of this place. For she saith in her heart, I said a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. That's right, the inward part, the, the, the inward thoughts is that their houses are going to continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations. But see, the Heavenly Father is going to nuke this place. All right, very soon the destruction of America is imminent. All right, reading on. Therefore shall her place come in one day. That's right, in one day. So great riches are going to come to naught, one hour in particular. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is Yahweh with a power who judgeth her. That's right. Hey, because this judgment is coming for the Most High himself. Then you got, the, then you got these different so-called Christians of the nation of Edom talk about we need to repent these these are signs that we just need to repent the heavenly father isn't going to allow you devils to repent it tells us that in Hebrews the 12th chapter and the heavenly father got this place on the crash course of destruction you actually think that the heavenly father is going to hear your prayers and he's going he gonna to turn from his intent upon this place matter of fact let me grab this in Isaiah the 14th chapter and you devils are delusional you devils Certainly you devils actually think that the Heavenly Father and the Son is still dealing with you. But that's why the Heavenly Father put the Spirit on Putin to open up the church and to open up that box. So that now you can see, well, wait a second. All these holy people, they're not white. Oh well, shit, they're all they're all black. And then you start and then you start you start thinking, well, wait a second, if they're all black, that means that the people of God are black. So what does that mean for us? Well, we'll we're out here to tell you what it means for you. You're going into slavery for a thousand years and then you're gonna get burnt up. You're gonna get exterminated. And there's nothing you can do to prolong your rulership here on the earth. All right, the next rulership is the rulership of Yahweh Shah and his remnant, his elect, out of the nation of Israel. All right, so let's grab this in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 24. I don't want of hosts have sworn, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. As I have purpose, so shall it stand. That's right. So with the Heavenly Father has purpose, that's what's going to stand. He don't care about your thoughts and your intents and all your prayers and your fastings and your lamentations. And most most of all, not hearing you devils. Let me grab this real quick. You, you, you devils are something else. <laughs> hey, you see why they want to ban TikTok? Hey, because TikTok, hey, then on TikTok, hey, people be saying whatever on TikTok. Hey, people's on people's on there gas, you goddamn devils. You devils is getting you devils is getting gas nonstop on TikTok. Then you got you pseudo scientists. You trying to say, well, look, well, actually, when you go back to 10 BC, you do the DNA. There's no way if they, uh, uh, Jesus could be of sub-Saharan ethnicity. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody buying that shit no more, man. Hey, you goddamn devils got no more credibility. All right, this is the book of Proverbs 19 and 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of Ha'adawan Yahweh, that shall stand, right? And the counsel of the Heavenly Father is to destroy this place, destroy you so-called white people and you other nations out of here, the remnant of you that are scattered throughout the earth to be put into captivity, and for his remnant, his elect, to be delivered by way of what you know as UFOs. Hey, it was not for nothing. In the eclipse, what was shooting through? Some chariots. And the Heavenly Father had the angels in the midst of all of that. They all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemiah Shah. 
So going back to Isaiah 14 and 24, how Adonai how of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Right, because the word don't go out void. Let me grab that real quick. I'll jump right back. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. That's right, because every father is not a man that he should lie. Let's grab that real quick. In the book of Numbers, the 23rd chapter. Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. The heavenly father is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? That's right, so the Heavenly Father is making good on all of his promises. Which is why now, even the other nations are chanting what? Death to America, in America. Because that's the promise of the Heavenly Father, that he's going to destroy this place, that he's going to loot this place. It's to the point where everybody's catching on. It starts with the prophets, according to the word of the Heavenly Father, now everybody's getting it, now everybody's getting in line. Yeah, man, fuck this place. Look, look what America is sanctioning all across the globe. Look what they're doing to those Palestinians. Because although directly the Israelis are carrying out those atrocities, everybody knows that they're funded by whom? They're funded by America. And despite the fact that supposedly Joe Biden and Netanyahu did not see an eye to eye, he's still sending all those, um, all those guns over there. He's still providing the funding. So that's infuriating people. And now people are now people are going back into history and digging up even more dirt on you goddamn devils, you so-called white people. All of these different nations that you've overthrown, whether whether you did it directly or indirectly by funding by funding extremist groups, just like what you're doing over there in Ukraine. What are you doing? You're funding extremist groups. You're funding uh, neo Nazis. You're funding terrorists, and everybody is catching on to you. And which is why. You got these young Americans, they're saying that they understand where Bin Laden was coming from. They read the Bin Laden letter, they said, man, I actually feel the guy. I, 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 see, I see where he was coming from. So you you devils, man, you, you ain't got no hope, man. You ain't got no hope, right, your proxy, via your proxy, that's right. All right, so now let me go back to Isaiah, the 14th chapter. I just book Isaiah 14 and 25 that I will break the Assyrian in my land and upon my mountains tread him underfoot then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off their shoulders that's right because being here is a burden and we're still in captivity let me grab that in Baruch the third chapter you see the heavenly father he's going to take that burden take that yoke up off of us and guess who and guess who the yoke the bird is going to find? You got the end up. Shall go into captivity. Baruch 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. That's right. So the nation of Israel is still in captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payment. Right. Well, what's coming up within a week? You gotta pay, you gotta pay the tax man. Oh, and now they didn't they didn't weaponize these IRS agents, giving them what? Giving them glocks. So now they can come inquire as to why you ain't pay your tax bill. Why is that? Because you have a growing sentiment that people don't want to pay their taxes. They don't want to pay their taxes because they see where their money is going. Their money is going to fund genocides, all right, to fund extremist groups, and not going to funding the, the development of uh, infrastructure. So people are saying, man, I don't, want to, I don't want to go ahead and pay taxes. And when Esau is like, okay, fuck around and find out. That, that, that's his mindset. Let me finish this off. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, it's a part of you. How are our fathers? That's right. When you do the crime, you got to do the time. And that's why our people are in this predicament. But now we're at the end of it. And now the Heavenly Father is beginning to turn his hand against you heathens. All right, starting with Esau slash Edom. So now let me go back to Isaiah 14 and 26. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For how Adwani, how of hosts have purpose, and who shall disannul it? 
and his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? That's right. So the heavenly father's hand is stretched out. Who gonna turn it back? Nobody's gonna turn it back. Nobody's gonna change the heavenly father's mind. All right, he is determined to the shortest place. Right, the destiny of this place is nuclear destruction. All right, so now let me go back to the comic board. Go ahead and check the time. Do a little time check. 1040. Got about seven more minutes. And then I gotta go ahead and shut down. Yep. Psalms 85 and 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. That's right. Now, truth is again to spring forth out of the earth. And the Heavenly Father's judges are coming, and that's what? That's all righteous. Righteousness, righteousness shall look down from heaven. Jeremiah 5 and 22. Fear ye not me, saith I don't want your house. Will you not tear, tremble at my presence? That's right. And Heavenly Father's going to make his presence known more and more. He's going to cause all you lackadaisical people to tremble. Which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Right. And I go to the beach a lot. You see that. And that's the beauty of the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father will only let the water get so far. Because the Heavenly Father, He's controlling all. All right, he's omnipotent. His spirit is in all things. All right, so the Houthis are con constantly. Sh sh shalom, one brother, uh, Angel Padilla. Good to see you, brother. Yahweh Shema Shabbat Kata. As well as you, Hawa Shaya, Hananya, Yibutaza. I said, Jason, Eric, rest you, Akim. Wa Akwa, Yahweh Shema Shabbat Kata. All right, so yeah, the Houthis are constantly attacking the ships in Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, too. Things are about to skyrocket. That's right, man. Things are about to skyrocket. And everybody's anticipating that there's going to be a there's going to be a strike from Iran within the next 24 hours, with the end of uh, with the end of Ramadan. Then they have some big feasts. So everybody's everybody's forecasting that. Hey, and I don't want to rock the side. That take place. And that's what we're looking forward to, man. We love to see we love to see the Heavenly Father stirring up strife amongst the nations, man. Because these are all these are all tokens of the end of this man's world, the end of Esau's world. So let me go ahead and pull this back up. Right, not to mention if China attacks Taiwan. Yeah, that's exactly. In America, they, they're, they're a few miles off the coast of China too, further aggravating them, further provoking them. And we know that's only, that's only, that's only right around the corner. That, that's, that's destined to happen. So those are those what? Wars and wars. Yes, let me grab this precept and draw 12 and 20 from Enos. He removeth away the speech of the trusty and taketh away the understanding of the aged. Right, you see that with uh, Mitch McConnell, his decrepit ass, uh, Joe Biden. Right, he, he's, a, he's a walking disaster. Nancy Pelosi, she look like she drunk all the goddamn time. She look like she got a flask sitting up there. And taketh away the understanding of the aged. He poureth contempt upon princes and weaken up the strength of the mighty. That's right. So the stronghold that you devils once had, the Heavenly Father, he's weakening it. To the point where we're out here, we can look you dead in the face and tell you that you're going into slavery. And what do you do? You put your hand down, you put your head down, you put your hand up. Yeah, man, I agree. Hey, a few decades ago, this would be unheard of. But see, the Heavenly Father, he got this place in a rapid decline. He got you goddamn devils, your nation in a rapid decline. And it's going to culminate in your captivity and your eventual extermination reading on isaiah 46 and 10 declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure that's right this is the counsel of the heavenly father the counsel of the heavenly father to abase this place plague this place and ultimately destroy this place yeah 144 beautiful this is second as 16 and 19 behold famine and plague Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. That's right. The Heavenly Father is only going to increase these spirits. These are spirits that are created for vengeance. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. That's right. Because you people don't understand yet. You people are reprobates. All right, the eclipse. And you have some sodomitish uh, Judite, or who could have been a Benjamite or a Levite in New York. He, he was scoffing. 
He said that it was overhyped. He, he, hey, man, you you people going to have to learn the hard way. The Heavenly Father got all these signs manifesting on the earth, and you still can't put, put two and two together. But that's all right, because we understand the prophecy in Matthew, the 24th chapter, just as, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the coming of the Son of Man. You you you, you people ain't going ain't gonna to get it until the missiles come. Until you're actually suffering in a concentration camp, unless, I'm sorry, until you're actually eating the flesh of your own arm or eating your loved ones digging them up just like they was doing over there in russia about a hundred years ago that's coming and it's coming it's coming rather rapidly and we believe according to faith that this eclipse is a sign of the escalation of things this is the first day after it was let's see what the heavenly father gonna manifest here on the earth behold victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case that's right now this prophecy then came and went because now we see that the food prices are going through the roof and even then shall evil grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion that's right okay so the the prices hit like a low but now it's on the rise and what is what is taking place more sword you have the beginning of famine and confusion now the world is full of confusion which is why so many people are in the uproar because they can't make heads or tails about why the things are transpiring in their country and what's to come. Hey, it started, it started with two weeks of, of, of staying indoors to, to stop the transmission of the disease. <laughs> and now everything is through the roof. Now, now you're walking around, you got a bioweapon in your arm, you can explode at any fucking moment. And you're, you're under an even more authoritarian regime. That confusion has only spread. All right, let me go ahead and get these last few presets and I got to go ahead and wrap up. Romans 9 and 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump? Right, of the same lump. Because Isaac and Rebekah are the father and mother of Jacob and Esau. So we're of the same lump. To make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. That's why. So we are the vessel unto honor. You Edomites are the vessel unto dishonor. Baruch 2 and 30. Matthew 15 and 14, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Right, you got a lot of dying, blind people out here, and y'all all gonna fall into the ditch, the, dip of the, the ditch of destruction. All right, so let me grab this in Baruch 2 and 30. This will be the last one. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. That's right, then it goes on to say, and think upon my name. And that's, and that's really why America's being brought down. Because the rent of the elect are that much closer to being sealed. And, and that's your ass, man. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. You devils are done. You devils are done. And all these nations, they're conspiring against you. And they're ready to rise up and battle against you pursuant to the book of Obadiah. But like I said, I got to go ahead and get up out of here. Got to got to get back to work. I pray that the lesson was edifying, exhorting, and comforting. And I again want to give all the praise and honor according to my power. Yahweh, Baha Shem. Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, and Baraka the Yahweh Shah, and the Wadi Yahweh Shah, 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 Yahweh